Okay, last thing we're shipping out today is a big one. I am really excited about this. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, March 24th. I have 11 eBay orders to ship out. But before I get started with that, I got a couple things I wanna tell you guys. I did a live show last night on the Nurse Flippers channel. Her name is Kat, and she's a really sweet person. She's had a channel for quite a while now, and she brings a variety of people on and does Q&A, and it's just a really fun show. I was joined by David Tesla Picker. I know you guys have heard me talk about him. He's one of my favorite channels. And also Julian from Bearded Thrift Machine. I didn't know about his channel, but I've been watching it and the guy just has great energy he's been selling for like a year year and a half but he already like does a really good job i really like his videos so if you guys want to watch the live stream from last night it was a lot of fun i'll put a link down below for it in the description and i'll also link all of their channels so the nurse flipper tesla picker and the bearded thrift machine so definitely go check that stuff out i also want to update you guys on the tournament bracket pool that i did um i announced last week i think it was that i was going to do a bracket pool give 150 dollars amazon gift card to the winner and we got like 300 entries there's a lot of entries and i thought i would tell you guys who's in in the lead right now. First place is Matthew Nissen. Second is Blake Rousel. Third is Kevin Potts. Fourth is Matt Van Cor. And we're at the Sweet 16 right now, so there's still like three rounds plus the championship left, I think. So keep an eye on your brackets, guys. Wish you guys all the best of luck. Mine is not doing so hot. Um, I am in 211th place out of 293 brackets. It's not looking so good. I had Ohio State in the championship game. They lost the first game to Oral Roberts. So yeah, not looking good for me. All right, we got some orders to pack. Let's get to work. First sale I went ahead and pulled for my storage unit. This is a National Public Radio vintage t-shirt that I just picked up from Daniel in that big eBay store buyout. Uh, that's over $24.99 free shipping. Next order is going out to a viewer named Chad. This was outside of eBay. He emailed me about a few things. Um, first is a Bengals shirt that I got from the Mojo Casher crew. And then we got a couple of Goosebumps folders and this killer Donald Duck binder uh, that I got from that eBay buyout. Uh, all of this stuff is going to Chad for $40 free shipping. And Chad, thanks so much for the support, man. I really appreciate it. Next thing going out is a video game in A31 right here. Uh, Shadow of Colossus, also part of that buyout, so I've maybe got a couple dollars to do it. That sold for $13.99, free shipping. Sold a few more pieces of ephemera. Let's pull these down. It's a total of three pieces. We sold LH3, LH8, and LH9. The LH stands for letterhead, just an inventory code I use to find these a little bit easier when they sell. All right, here is LH8 and LH9 is on the back, so we've got from Hanover Rye from 1905, standard distilling company with signatures, really cool piece. We flip it over and we've got a piece from 1902 with that awesome gold embossed logo. And then the third piece is LH3, this one right here. We take this post-it off of here. This is Red Top Rye. And this is from 1906. We got the factory on there. Really neat piece. Uh, same buyer got all three of these for $159.97 plus shipping. Next thing is a bobblehead and E32 right here. Dwight Schrute. I've only got a dollar into that. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping and this is going to David the NC Picker. David, thanks for the business. I hope you like the bobblehead. All right, next sale has like three different things okay first thing is gi joe mighty mugs on the d3 so it's these these two right here it is destro and baroness and then they bought something on f3 it's four of the mighty mugs right here and these are transformer ones so we got autobot jazz shockwave Megatron and Optimus Prime and then one more Mighty Mugs uh, Darth Revan or Raven in here these are all part of that big eBay buyout and 
These all sold for $60.97 plus shipping. I'll just combine them all in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. Your name Marcel bought that. He says, keep up the great content. Marcel, thanks for the kind words and thanks so much for the support. All right, next thing we're shipping out is an auction that I did for this Tonk truck. I got this a few weeks back um, on one of those Wapakoneta trips that I took. This didn't have the tailgate, so I made sure I pointed that out. I did the auction starting at 99 cents and it sold for $103 plus shipping. Next is a bottle of perfume right here on A2. And a matter of fact, I sold something else out of here too. So I'll grab it while I'm at it. So here's the perfume. This is Balmain Jolie Madame. Madame. I'm, I'm sure that I'm mispronouncing this. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. And the other item is this Imperial Glass Beaver Woodchuck. You can maybe see the hallmark there that says IG. Um, I didn't know that it was Imperial Glass. I had to do a Google uh, Lens search, but it popped right up. I got both of these from that eBay buyout. This one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a lot of VHS tapes right here on C4. It's five Pokemon VHS tapes. We've got a couple of the Johto or Johto Journeys. Movie 3, the first movie, and Movie 2000. Those all sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Your name Cecil got those. He says, John, amazing lot. I wish I could find stuff like this in the wild. These will be a great addition to my collection. Keep up the good finds. Cecil, thanks so much for the business. I hope you like those movies. Okay, last thing we're shipping out today is a big one. I am really excited about this. Let me move this rack out of the way. You guys saw me make that hunting buy. I guess it's been a couple weeks now and I've been selling off a lot of the smaller stuff and the bow just sold. I've already sold around $900 from that buy and I was waiting for this to sell to put me in the profit on the buy because I paid $1,300 for everything. This is a Hoyt Redworks bow and it sold for $1,000. Plus shipping. It's Thursday morning. I have 13 eBay orders to ship out, but before I get started, I've got some viewer questions I want to answer. First is from David K. Do you always start an auction at a dollar even when you know an item is worth considerably more? Have you ever gotten burned? If I have an item that I think is worth $50 plus, I would be nervous starting bidding at a dollar and will likely start it at $35 or so. Great channel. Thanks. All right, David, that is a really good question. I do not like to do a whole lot of auctions. I do some, and I've been doing more now because I think that um, the pandemic has really shifted auction prices. I think a lot of people are at home and their bidding is entertainment for them. So I think auction prices across the board have been going up. That's just my opinion. So when I do an auction, it needs to meet two criteria for me. First off, it needs to be difficult for me to find a good value, meaning like comps could be all over the place, like high, low, everything, or it's a little uncommon, like that Tonka truck I had that just sold, I think I shipped it out yesterday or a few days ago. It uh, didn't have a tailgate, so that hurt the value a little bit, but it was really, really clean. I might have done a buy it now for it for like 40 or 50, but I did an auction, started it at a dollar and it sold for $103. So I do think auctions can be good. I've been burned once or twice over the years, not that bad. And when it, when I get burned, it's only like a 20 or $50 item. You know what I mean? If I have something that's worth like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, I'm probably not going to auction. I'm going to do a buy it now, maybe put a best offer on it. But that's, you know, all stuff you have to consider. I think I just went on a little tangent and didn't tell you guys the second thing that <laughs> an item has to meet a criteria for me. So, uh, one, it needs to be difficult for me to find uh, a price. And two, it needs to have a lot of demand, meaning that a lot of people, you know, are looking for this thing like Tonka trucks. They're super collectible. And you can tell if your item has a demand is if you go into sold listings of something and click auctions and see how many bids something got. You know what I mean? So like I just did a lot of He-Man action figures. Those things get tons and tons of bids. So those are the two criteria something has to meet for me. But yeah, I think auctions are fun and it can a lot of times it can surprise you. Auctions for me have typically sold higher than I expected as opposed to like getting burned. So just something to think about. Okay, next is from Eugene Robinson. Nice work, John. Question, what video editing software do you use to edit, upload to YouTube, and where do you get your background music from? Thanks. Okay, so I use iMovie. I've used it from the very beginning. When I first started making videos, I just shot with my phone and edited it on my phone in iMovie. Now I use a GoPro Hero 8 Black, which I love. I had the 7 and it was really glitchy, but I use the 8 now. And I still use iMovie. I use it on my laptop. It's not 
the best editing software out there, but it's it's very easy to learn and understand, and it doesn't have a ton of you know extra things that'll confuse you. So I personally like using it. Uh, Final Cut Pro, I've heard is way better. You have to pay for it, but it's a better software. So I just use it in iMovie, or I edit it in iMovie, and then I just upload it straight to YouTube from there. Um, your question about the background music, my brother-in-law is a musician. He plays guitar, keyboard, all that stuff, and he makes a lot of his own music, and he's got it all on his website. So I've used a lot of his music. His website, I think, is called crookedpathmusic.com. I'll put a link down below, uh, but basically he just puts it all out there for free. It's no copyright music. He takes donations, so every time I get one of his songs, I send him 5, 10, 20 bucks, whatever, because I can use that in multiple videos. And I really like that music. I, I use it a lot with like time lapse, stuff like that. Sometimes to switch it up, I'll go to No Copyright Sounds. It's a channel on YouTube. I'll put a link down there in the description for that as well. And all of their songs are copyright free with the caveat that you need to put the uh, artist and credit who it is in the description for your video. So there's a lot of free music out there. Definitely check it out. Okay, before we dig into the eBay orders, I had some viewers reach out to me via email that wanted some things. This first order is going out to Bart. We've got a John Deere outdoor uh, light set. We have a Heinz 57 plush and a uh, Bart and Homer Simpson photo mosaic puzzles, new in the plastic. I got all this stuff from that recent eBay buyout and this is all going to Bart for $100 free shipping. Bart is going out to Bart. I think that's pretty fitting. Okay, next are these two uh, pewter statues you guys saw me get at that, like, indoor flea market, you know, kind of yard sale thing last weekend. I paid $5 for the pair. They are pretty heavy, so they're going to cost a little bit to ship. Those are going to have to Kelsey for $40 free shipping. And then this huge lot right here is going out to Liam. We've got a total of five pieces. Here is Grey Hulk with the comic. And then we've got... Hulkbuster Iron Man with the comic. We've got the Wolverine Hulk combo. Here is gallery diorama of a Red Hulk and Marvel Legends Hulk from the Icons. All five of those are going out to Liam for $280 free shipping. Bart, Kelsey, and Liam, guys, thank you all so much for the support. Okay, moving on to the eBay sales. First thing is on B1 right here, I was just talking about this in that question about auctions. This is a lot of He-Man, Masters of the Universe figures, and I did an auction with these starting at a dollar. Uh, the winning bidder didn't pay. They took like a couple days to pay, so I opened up a uh, unpaid item case, and they took like two or three more days. I was thinking that I was gonna have to relist these, but they finally did pay. They sold for $117.50 plus shipping. Okay, next thing, I have two of them, and they both sold to two different buyers. These were in that big eBay store buyout I just made. These are Braun Series 3 uh, shaver heads. Each of these sold for $18.99, free shipping. Next thing is a piece of clothing I just listed this morning, actually. This is a women's Life is Good shirt, also part of that eBay store buyout. I've never sold that brand, Life is Good, but I've heard it does pretty well, and this one sold for $24.99, free shipping. Next thing is a doll right here on A3. It is Ann... Uh, Anna Green Gables from Ellen Montgomery's book, I believe. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next sale is a really cool one. This is a clear phone. You guys saw this in the video I did where I bought all that stuff from Daniel. This thing just takes me back to childhood. It is so cool. Didn't have a way to test it, unfortunately, but, you know, if it doesn't work and gets returned, not a big deal. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next thing shipping out is a backpack right here on C2. See if I can wiggle this out here without knocking a bunch of inventory off the shelf. This is a Badlands backpack. It was part of that big hunting buy, and I've almost sold through everything. I think I've got like one or two pieces left. You guys saw me sell the bow yesterday. This backpack sold for $119.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a lot of action figures. It's an old inventory code that says B6, but I'm guessing it is down here somewhere oh here it is these are um shoot what are they called playmation these are playmation action figures part of like a video game thing 
There's a total of nine of them, and they sold for $14.99 plus shipping, and they're going out to a viewer named Lori. Lori sent a note with the purchase. She says, hey, I found your YouTube and eBay store through Lonnie and Candace's channel, Shed Flips. Although currently I'm just a collector, I have sold on eBay in the past. I enjoy your videos very much. It's fun to see how sales are like around the country. All the best, Lori from California. Lori, thanks so much for your support. I'd love to get out to California one day and see what the garage sales are like out there. I sold a little Fox figurine that I just got from that eBay store buyout. I went ahead and put it in a box with a little bit of rubber, uh, bubble wrap just because it's very fragile and it's banging around and getting broken. Give you guys a look at this thing. It's made by Beswick. Just a really cool looking piece. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Sold another piece of ephemera. I think I'm gonna run out of this stuff before long. I'm really shocked at how fast it's selling. Let's see, LH18 sold. Not that one. I think it might be this one. Yeah, LH18 is the reverse, so that's this piece right here. This is a 1918 letter uh, with the Union Distilling Company out of Cincinnati, Ohio. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I haven't been showing you guys a lot of packing recently, but I'll go ahead and show you how I'm going to pack this. So I'm going to put this uh, old letterhead in this envelope right here. And I don't want to just ship this out in the envelope because if this gets torn or anything in transit, I mean, it just totally kills the value. So I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to have to cut it down a little bit because I'm going to put it in this box right here. This is a record mailer. I recently bought, I think about a hundred of these for right around like $55 shipped. So I'm only into each one for about 55 cents. And they work for records, but they also work for books and a variety of other things. So once I put this letterhead in here, I will um, put it in this, fold it over. That way it's nice and protected and it'll still ship uh, first class mail. Probably around 10 ounces or so, I think. Okay, next thing, I'm not completely sure where it is. It is Delta Airline pins. I seem to remember I put them on this rack. It's a box of them. I've got a hundred of them. And I think this is them right here. I got this whole box from uh, my guy Mike. These are junior wings that flight attendants and pilots would give to kids. Or, you know, anybody that wanted them, I guess, if it was their first time on a plane. And you, sometimes if kids were nervous or whatever and they didn't like flying, they'd give them one of these and, you know, make them feel special. So, uh, I decided to list these in lots of four. And this is the first lot that I sold. Uh, four of these sold for $11.99 free shipping. Next thing is a Funko Pop. Let's see, right here. Hulk busting out of the Hulk Buster. How cool is that? That just has such an awesome look to it. This is also part of that big eBay store and Hulk collection buyout I just did. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Last thing we're shipping out is a pair of shoes. It's Skechers. Uh, these right here. I just got these a couple weekends ago at that little flea market sale. Paid $5 for them, brand new with the original box. They sold for $34.99 plus shipping. It's Friday morning. I've got 11 eBay orders to ship out and one viewer sale. This one right here. This is a 1918 handbook for Seaman Gunners. You guys saw me get this last weekend at a sale. I paid ten dollars for it and it's going out to your name zachary for 25 dollars free shipping zachary thank you for the support hope you like the book next thing is a hulk figure you guys are going to see me selling a lot of hulk figures from that big collection i bought this is the marvel legends series where he's got the two different faces that sold for 89.99 plus shipping next thing is in c52 it is a rick and morty keychain i got i think about eight of these in that eBay store buyout. This is the Portal Gun key ring light. I guess they use that in the show. I've never seen it. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. Next thing is a stereo on E4. This is a JVC stereo. New in the packaging. Never been used. Got this um, from the same sale I got that Gunner book actually. I paid $20 for this. It sold for $54.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a mug up here on A2. This thing is really cool. It's made to look like an IBM AS400 computer. Also part of that eBay store buyout that sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing is something I've had for a few months. Right here on B3, I got this in a bulk buy about two, maybe three months ago. It is a pipe stand. 
and it has a glass piece in the middle that holds tobacco. Really cool piece. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. And if you guys are curious how I'm going to ship this, I'm going to remove this glass piece right here. I'm going to bubble wrap it and put it in its own box. Then I'll put this box inside another box with this right here. So I don't want this thing clanging around and getting broken in transit. Sold another piece in A2. I guess I could have just went ahead and pulled this when I got the mug. This is a zebra made by Royal Ducks. Just a little piece. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing going out is three lots of diecast cars. First is down here on A5. I did auctions with these, each of them starting at a dollar. There's the first lot. That's 20 cars. Uh, second lot is in B5, right down here. And the third lot is D1 right up here same buyer got all three of these 20 cars each each auction started at a dollar and they sold for 93.50 plus shipping i'll just combine them all in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost next thing shipping out is a little action figure from the dc series it is killer croc that sold for 14.49 free shipping next is an e42 this guy right here this is a battery charger for a Sony, I think a Sony Handycam. That sold for $13.99 free shipping. Last order we're pulling for the day has two things. First is on the B3 rack. These are sealed Disney VHS, part of that big buyout I just made. There's a total of seven of them. They sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And the same buyer got something down here in A5. This is a set of six Hulk Funko Pops. We've got orange, green, blue, red, gold, and purple. Those all sold for $44.99 plus shipping. Your name David got those Funkos in movies. David, thank you so much for the business. I really appreciate it. Before I end this video, I have some viewer mail that I want to open. Uh, quite a bit of stuff here. First thing is from, well, doesn't say who it's from or where it's from, so. This will be fun. All right, we got a card. Hey, Cincinnati Picker, married and flipping here. Sending you some Cincinnati stuff from a couple Cincinnatians to another. Feel free to keep them or sell them. Hope you enjoy. Go Reds and Who Day. Sincerely, Megan and Aaron. YouTube, married and flipping. Instagram, married flipping and girl boss flipper. All right. Oh, how cool is this? Got an Icky Woods starting lineup figure. Oh, that is awesome. You guys remember the Icky Shuffle? I'm sure anybody in Cincinnati remembers it, but maybe not outside of Cincinnati. And then here is Boomer Esiason. That is cool. Let's see, we've got a UC Bearcats hat with the Bearcat on the side there. That's where I went to school. A Cincinnati Reds visor and a UC Bearcats beanie. That is awesome. Guys, thank you so much. Okay, next is from Ben in Charlotte, North Carolina. And... I'm pretty sure this is my buddy Ready Set Resell. And he put a Cincinnati Picker sticker right on the back. How cool is that? I reached out to Ben and asked him for a sticker for my workbench, and he sent a couple. Ben, thank you so much, man. If you guys aren't already subscribed to Ben, I highly suggest that you give him a look. I think it's one of the best YouTube channels out there for resellers to learn. I've learned a ton from Ben. I watch his videos all the time. I'll put a link down below in the description for his channel. All right, next is from EUP Pickers. They bought something in my store. I think it was last week. Dear Cincinnati Picker, hi, we're EUP Pickers from YouTube. We just want to say that we watch your channel a lot. You are part of the reason we started thrifting and picking. We are Ava Finley, and our dad's name is Paul. We live in Michigan, by the way. I figured that's what the EUP was, Eastern Upper Peninsula, I think is right. And they sent some stickers for the bench, too. Guys, this is awesome. Ava Finley, Paul, thanks so much for sending these. Okay, next thing is from Cool Finds NJ, assuming that's New Jersey. Hi, John, sending you a couple stickers for your bench. No shout out necessary, just a rookie reseller looking for a spot in the lineup thanks for all your insight rick cool finds in j and there are the stickers we got an orange one and a blue one i think i like that blue one i think i'm gonna put that blue one on the bench rich thanks for sending these man i appreciate it okay next is from pennsylvania 
Thank you for all the great videos. I've sent a few stickers that I hope you can put on the table. Longtime viewer that doesn't comment much though. If you have time, check out our YouTube that you inspired us to start. Talons Cove, Scott and Jan. And there are the stickers. Scott and Jan, thanks so much guys. All right, next is from Rick in Pennsylvania. A couple things coming from Pennsylvania today. John, been watching you for about two years now. I buy, restore, trade and resell tools and other finds. I just started YouTube on flips, restores and hauls, Instagram, back into service, eBay and YouTube. Stay safe and be well, Rick. P.S. I included an envelope. Please send your sticker if you would. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. And there is his sticker, back into service. Thanks for sending this man. I'll ship one of my stickers back to you. Okay, next is from Young Entrepreneur in Canada. Hey John, just finished watching. I've never had an eBay sale like this. That's one of my videos. Thought I'd hopefully be able to join your soon to be famous sticker table. I don't know about that. I know mine is a return address label, but it's the closest thing I got to a sticker. Hope that's all right with you. Keep up the amazing work and keep on living the dream. Attached below are some photos of me at my local flea market from this summer. I made sure to add them to show you where amazing videos have been taken me as well as what you have done for the young entrepreneurs such as myself. Thank you so much for your knowledge and videos. You are truly a huge part of my success. Colby from Ottawa, Ontario. And here are the pictures that he sent. That is awesome. Got the SUV and he's got like two or three tables of a bunch of stuff set up. Look at that guys. Colby, thank you for sending this stuff. And yes, even though it is a return address label, I will put it on the workbench. All right, next is from Michael in Kentucky, and he actually emailed me about this, so I know what it is, but I'll still open it up and show you guys. These are two Cincinnati Reds prints. I am pretty sure these were stadium giveaways, uh, maybe like 15, 20 years ago, something like that. It's been a while. It's a Synergy Field, and Synergy Field hasn't been around since 2003, so it's been a while. We got Joe Morgan, legendary second baseman, rest in peace, recently passed away, and Ted Klazuski, legendary first baseman. These are really cool, Michael. Thank you so much for these. All right, next is from Connor. I think this is from the UK. Hi, John and family. I owe most of my sales to you after watching and learning from all your videos. I work away all week hauling timber and pick up all sorts on my travels to list, sell, and ship on the weekends. I don't have a store yet, but I think this is something I will do soon. It's great watching your videos and seeing others with the same enthusiasm as me. So I picked up two of these, and I know you're a Reds fan in baseball, but over here it's not a big thing. So hopefully it will be a novelty item for you to sell or keep. There's also a lot of Irish humor in the bag, as I live in Scotland, but am born and bred in Belfast, Ireland. All the best to you and Whitney with your channels, and congratulations on the news of your three new foster kids. Many thanks, Connor eBay name is Celtic Heroes. Or is it pronounced Celtic Heroes? All right. Oh, no way. This is fantastic. This is a sticker collector album that was made in, I'm assuming, Ireland or the UK. And it says American Football, 1990-1991. Look at that. That is too cool. See, so yeah, it's got every team from the early 90s. You got the Falcons, Seattle Seahawks, and it is just completely full of stickers. Wow. This is awesome. And then we have an air freshener, how to speak Irish, <laughs> whale oil beef hooked, and it says say it fast. Whale oil beef hooked. <laughs> Took me a second, but I got it. That is cool. Connor, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you sending this stuff. All right, last thing is not uh, from a viewer. This is from my buddy Aditya. He just bought a humongous collection of Funko Pops, close to 900 of them, I think, total. And when he told me he bought them, I messaged him and I was like, do you have any MLB mascots? Because I started collecting them and he did have some and I bought them from him. I think there's a total of like 12, 10 or 12, something like that. I paid $230 for them and I'm not going to flip them. I'm just keeping these. I'm going to put them on display on my shelves actually right here in the shipping station. So we've got the Baltimore Orioles mascot holding a little foam finger. We've got Orbit from the Houston Astros. That's just a cool looking mascot. 
Here is the Pittsburgh Pirates mascot, Slugger from the Kansas City Royals, the Swinging Friar of the Padres. By the way, my neighbors are making all kinds of noise over there, just like they always do. I got a lawnmower repair business, and it is just noisy all day. So if you guys can't hear me, I'm sorry about that. All right, this might be my favorite mascot Funko. This is Teddy Roosevelt of the Washington Nationals. That is awesome. Here's a Texas Rangers captain mascot, Chicago White Sox. There's Mr. Met, the New York Mets mascot. Looks an awful lot like Mr. Red from the Cincinnati Reds. I'll let you guys guess which one of those came first. Here's the Blue Jays mascot. Here's Bernie Brewer, the Milwaukee Brewers mascot. I've been to their stadium, and whenever a Brewers player hits a home run, this guy slides down this like spiral slide up in, I think, left field. It's like upper deck left field. It's pretty neat. There's Paws of the Detroit Tigers, Wally the Green Monster for the Boston Red Sox, and last but not least, Mariner Moose for the Seattle Mariners. Aditya, thank you for selling these to me, man. Um, this is right now a complete collection, you know, all the ones I have and then these of all the MLB mascots that have been released. They haven't released them for every team yet. Like, I don't think the Yankees have one, St. Louis Cardinals, the Cubs don't have one. So I'm sure at some point in the coming years, there'll be more to come, but thank you for selling these to me. If you guys want to check out his video, it's really interesting. He bought almost 900 Funko Pops. His channel is called Galactic Leyline. I'll put a link down below in the description. And before I end this video, I want to give a special shout out to Mark and his family down in Florida. I recently have been talking with him about a big buy. He's a viewer of the channel, had a lot of stuff to sell. And since he lives in Florida, we were kind of like trying to figure out like how it would work. He was maybe going to drive up here for it. But a friend of mine who also resells just so happened to be in Florida this week. So he and I went in on the deal together to buy everything from Mark and it worked out really well. My buddy was down for vacation and filled his van with the stuff and brought it all back. So Mark, thank you so much for the deal and thank you so much for supporting the channel. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.